here it goes let's go for in for a free ornithopter and into the urza prince of krug and now all of our artifacts get a buff in look at that ornithopter let's go ahead and just swing all in i got 11 life and that is gonna do it urza for the win Ladies and gentle mages, civilians across the multiverse, welcome back to another episode of Mana Man, and today we've got a juicer for you. Before we dig into the deck, make sure you leave a like on the video. The button looks just like this, and it does help out the channel tremendously. I know it's cliche, but I really appreciate it. All right, let's go and dive right into Urza Artifacts. So I have built um this kind of Azorius thing. I mean, if you've seen the channel before, you know Emporium Thopterus. I personally think this should have been on a legendary creature's body because this effect is just way too good. Getting a free Ornithopter every single turn is just bonkers. But how can we actually make this even and more bonkers well let's go in for Ur urza prince of krug this is my first time playing in with the human artificer uh artifact creatures you control get plus two plus two pretty simple i mean just play it down for four everything's gonna get buffed we do have a lot of artifact creatures here including the surge engine the schooner uh the thopter thopter ex i don't know how thopter rex i don't know how to say that but whatever um the case of the fish falcon also does create things so basically pretty straightforward here we're going to be playing down some creatures and just getting them really big with the urza but what i like about urza is the second part of the ability here for six create a token that's a copy of target artifact you control except it's a one one soldier creature which is fine but now what do we really want to do with this there's two key artifacts that you can really kind of bust with this the first one obviously is the reflection net so when the reflection net enters the battlefield that's a flash by the way so exile target creature until reflection net leaves the battlefield pretty good and then for two you can target creature you control becomes a copy of the creature card exile with reflection net pretty freaking sweet here so basically the best thing you could do with urza is for six later in the game if you do have a guy like, a pretty like gridlocky matchup for six you can start copying reflection nets copying a reflection at every single turn is pretty good especially considering that you do get to exile something every single turn the next thing would be like the surge engine because it is a one one soldier creature that isn't that big of a deal because with surge engine you can use its activated ability cost to make it a five four power and toughness with that ability so the surge engine and the reflection net are the best things you can go with the urza but other than that urza is just gonna buff our stuff up here i think maybe i think the surge engine you could probably um there's a bunch of things you can do here you can go for surge engine make this a little bit more surge engine um more schooner i don't know i think this is a nice little blend here um we also do have the innovative Metatech. whenever one or more artifact creatures you control deal combat damage to a player seek non-land card value with mana value two or less so if you have like the surge engine or the subterranean schooner or one of your a bazillion ornithopters that you can just get for free you are going to get to seek cards with this Metatech for absolutely free this kind of reminds me hey speaking of artifacts i gotta give a shout out metabots robot if you were ever if you well i'm showing my age here but if if you remember metabots this is a uh, metatech metabots i'm probably gonna um refer to it as metabots throughout the video so um this is about it no more lies just because i mean counter magic you gotta, you gotta have a little bit of something here but this is pretty much the deck here we're gonna take urza we're gonna take the reflection net and we're just gonna beat some heads in with some artifacts here but that's pretty much the deck consider joining the channel that helped me out monetarily as a content creator consider subscribing if you have not already and without further ado let's get ready to vanquish some enemies Lularetti, hello, hello. How are we doing here? All right, meticulous archive. Maybe we will get a little bit of a mirror match going on here. This seems to be pretty popular. Let's go and drop our uh, restless anchorage and be on our way. No turn two play, so we are on the draw. Let's see if we are going against more of a control build or are we going against a lot of uh, like I said, I've been seeing a lot of this type of build here. I think people are slowly starting to catch on that the Emporium Thopterus is like the best card ever. And hopefully there is that one instant stern scolding and that oh that burns the stern scolding I am not running that card but that card is really really good. Um, yeah, the stern scolding what what that does is um, I don't know. I mean when it's good it's great and when it's bad it's really bad. But man, it's really good right now. So that kind of burns. Turn three is a little awkward. We're just gonna go in for the surge engine here. And I guess it's not awkward considering that the surge engine does need that one blue to be able to alleviate it from having defender so i guess it's not very awkward but we can go in for the innovative metatect and then because this is an artifact creature we can go ahead and uh, start seeking some stuff seek and destroy as metallica would say sunder the gateway oh that's rude and they get an ink that's actually really good so they get an incubator token as well as getting rid of my creature ah oh, dang that's kind of unfortunate all right let's go for the well let's see what we want to do here i might just the metatect is nice but I would rather get something down, so I'm going to go for the Case of the Fitch Falcon, and then you just go in for the Zoetic Glyph. I know it's kind of awkward here, because we don't have... 
We can't set up for no more lies this way, but I think it's just better to do this. Plus, if they get rid of this, then we still get to uh, discover from the Zoetic Glyph, so I don't think there's that much risk here. But... <sighs> Reflection... Uh, yeah, again, that's not the worst thing ever. So let's see what we can discover here. Another number of lies is actually really underwhelming. I'm only running three of these things, so getting the third one here is actually really not good. Um, dang, it's actually pretty unlucky. But, um, ooh, now we got our Urza. Let's go ahead and drop our Urza, Prince of Krug. See, a lot of times, I mean, this Urza has actually very, very under uh, underrated, in my opinion. Sunfall, well, unfortunately, Urza's not going to survive the Sunfall. And we couldn't even protect him with the no more lies, which is unfortunate. I think we're just going to get this down. I think this just feels a little bit more powerful than going in for the Restless Anchorage. Don't get me wrong, though. This is looking pretty bad. At least we can hold up one more no more lies, even though they know we have it. So Restless Anchorage. Yeah, can't do much about that. But if they do sink up the mana into the Restless Anchorage, now we can go for no more lies if they want to grab something. This is the problem. We're going to have to find something, because like our case of the Fish Falcon is looking absolutely horrible. Mm, what do we need? I think we just need like a creature here. My turn, a land is not great, but let's just go in for our own Restless Anchorage. I think it will be worth it to drop this map token. We do kind of, you know, get into the case of the Fitch Falcon this way. Obviously, our meta tech is not, um, <laughs> our meta bot is not row battling here. If you know, you know. Meta bot's row battle. All right, so I think we're just going to end the turn here. Okay. Restless Anchorage, I think, are we just like racing via Restless Anchorages? I don't know, I mean, it's okay. They swing with this. I'm gonna block, I don't, I don't think they've got like a pump spell. Let's recommission now, we're good there. I would've thought they would go for the map token on this before combat, but they don't, which that's actually pretty nice, considering that um, endures. Okay, that is a problem. So now that, okay, now that I draw the, um, the reflection net, I think I'm just gonna have to do this at sorcery speed. Because now that I know that they have that on the top of their deck, they can just do that at instant speed. So this map token will still help no more lies this way. Elaine is not that great, but we're kind of making do with what we got. I think we might as well attack. Uh, we don't get to seek because the meta tech itself is not a, an artifact. Yeah, I think we're just better off doing this. Okay. So we're hanging in there. 13 life. Obviously, their Restless Anchorage is putting a pretty good hurting on us. We still have one more normal lies, but they also know that, so we don't really have the element of surprise. Down to 10. Let's see if they got like, another creature, or they just go for the map token. Now, I mean, we definitely can no more lies, whatever they put out, so maybe this actually isn't that horrendous. All right, we're good. Okay, so we're actually, we actually got away from that pretty scot-free. Let's drop our siren here. Building up the board, building up the board. Do we want to go for the rest of this anchorage? As long as we can hold up at least one more No More Lies, I think we're still better off to do this. We're going to need a little bit of help, and I want to complete the case. So let's do this. Yeah, we have two now. I'm going to swing in, and now we're going to be able to com uh, complete the case of the Fitch Falcon. So now I got three here. Yep, three, three. We're good there. Bang, bang, down to 14. We're still at 10 life. Yeah, I can't go for the map token. The map token is just way too risky, especially when we're holding up this counter magic. But this case of the Fitch Falcon may be what we need to kind of break through here. Still keeping an eye on like um, this Endurus card. Three, four. Do I want to chump block? It's close. It's very, very close. I'm going to no block, but it's close, especially because they can potentially push for lethal with that Endurers card, which I haven't really played a whole lot with it, but map token, another land, okie dokie. Schooner, 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 schooner. Well, let's waste absolutely no time. We're going to absolutely go for this artifact here. And now the Metatect, now we can row battle <laughs> with our innovative Metatect because this is an actual artifact creature. So before I want to decide, do I want to go for double no more lies, or do I want to get the schooner down? Let's make sure that they do this first. So there it is, indoors. Let's go for no more lies. They know that we have this, but they don't know that we have two. 
So they pay, that's fine. Now we go in for another No More Lies, and I thought these No More Lies were just gonna sit in my hand, but I guess not. So let's go ahead and swing, swing. I'm gonna keep the, the Siren back to block this Anchorage, and now the Metatech, Metabots row battle. We do get, uh, you know, we get Inspector. This is a pretty grindy matchup, so that maybe could matter. Ooh, Sunfall. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like that. Okay. One of four. Oh, God. How do we get out of here? Surge Engine's okay. Let's get down our schooner. Surge Engine's fine. And I think we're just going to drop the uh, the Inspector. Map Token doesn't really help us out a whole lot. I think I'd just rather have another body. Especially if they're running um, uh, Blink effects. Or Flicker, Blink, whatever you want to call it. And then we hold up a No More Lies. So, I, oh man, this is kind of hard. The only thing that we're going to be really worried about is if they do animate the Restless Anchorage here and they go in for this map token. So Incubator, we can handle that. That's no problem. Restless Anchorage. Okay, here it is. I and mean, then they're going to go for the map token on the Anchorage. We have four life. Fingers crossed. Oh, fingers crossed. Land, land, land. Come on, the result. Yes, oh my gosh. Thank goodness. Okay, that was lethal, obviously. So, Reflection Net. Yeah, this is fine. We're going to go for No More Lies, and there we go. We made use of all three of our No More Lies. Pass. Ooh, and they, they're, they're making a huge mistake here. They're actually swinging in with this. Let's go for our Subterranean Schooner, and let's go ahead and block this off. This is just a cold-blooded mistake. Yeah, there's absolutely no way they should have done this. And I'm trying to see, now I'm just trying to do, they're tapped out. Now I'm trying to see on the back end, do we have lethal here? I think we're going to have to get a little lucky here. So, planes. Um, can we, can we make do with this? So, schooner, this is six damage with the surge engine. And if we uh, go for restless anchorage, that's only two. So, it's eight. So, they gave us a good game. I don't know about that yet. I don't know about that yet, my friend. Um... Let's go in for the map token. Let's go in for the schooner. And if we get no... Okay, there we go. We get a <laughs> Metatech. Metabots row battle. Let's go. Okay, so we're good to go. Um, we have actually two forms of... To win here. We can go in for the surge engine. Or we can go in for the restless anchorage. But it does not matter either way. Let's go ahead and give them a good game. That was a very, very gritty matchup. But feels good to take one out here, man. Feels good. Metabots row battle. There we go. GG's Lulu ready. Oof. E L C R B S T. That almost sounds like a, uh, like a cheer. But okay, let's see what we got here. I got the spike, two spyglass sirens, or flexion net. Let's see if we can get into some. Ooh, Forestus Roach. I definitely do not like seeing Forestus Roach, but fortunately, we do have a spyglass siren so that we can um, kind of make do with this. So, I absolutely 100% am blocking the way that you beat Toxic is you relentlessly block any creature they have. I don't care if it's um, uncomfortable. Whatever they put out, you're just blocking. You're just blocking. doesn't matter. You cannot let them sniff poison counters. So Underground Mortuary is fine. Hopefully, they do not have... I mean, most likely, we're going to be able to... Now, as we'll say, the Whisper of the Draw. So that's that one card that we actually... Oh, that's really sucky. Because the, now the Forestus Roach... Gets to give everything an additional instance of Toxic, so... I guess we'll just drop the Metatect, but like I said, we're just trying to match them up pace by pace here. So now the uh, the Forestus Roach has essentially Toxic 2. So hopefully... Oh! This has to be, um... This has to be, um... Uh, Tyvar Stand. Make it... They have to be. Otherwise, there's no reason to do this. But it doesn't matter. Oh. Oh, okay. Golem's Bite. I guess this is... Well, that's fine. Either way, we're blocking. Like I said, 100%, I, uh, that's a hill I will die on. You just have to block, but I'm going to go for a Reflection Net here. So if they don't have Tybar Stand, I would have... Well, maybe maybe they don't, but they still went for it anyway. Do they really? Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's really bad. Okay. I, I re Oh, man. For some reason, I just kind of figured they had Tybar Stand. Um, if they didn't do it on the meta tech, so that really sucks, because we would be way better off just dropping the siren and blocking, because now they did another counter. Oh, it's so bad. Well, instead of going, let's not go for Urza just yet. Let's go in for the Soetic Glyph, and I think I'm actually going to do it on the Reflection Net. If the Reflection, if there's nothing in the net, if there's nothing in the net, I think we're just going to go ahead and do this and just drop the Spyglass Siren. We're not really ready for Urza just yet, if at all. 
All right, this is a little risky. So 18 to 18, they've got three life. We do not want this freaking Roach to go in. Now it has Toxic 3. I'm going to swing in. We've got a 5-4. This is plenty of damage. I know that the Golem's Bite is there. I mean, does the Golem's Bite really do a whole lot? They just get to tempt with it. I'm going to do this. This is extremely risky. If they have another one of those uh, Whisper to the Dross thingies, um, it's looking really bad. But, I mean, we have to put our own damage on the board as well. This is pretty risky. All right, the Golem's Bite thingy, I don't think I'm really that worried about that. I mean, we can... Oh, Rob Priest, okay. Let's see here. Well, why are they doing this? I mean, you got to block 100,000 million percent. 100,000 million percent. That's a lot of percentage points. I don't care what you have. If you got another tie bar stand or something. Yep, tie bar. Okay, that's fine. It's fine, but not great. As long as we get to block them, we're, we'd rather do that. So, all right. Well, this is actually pretty nice here. What we can do with Urza is if we get draw into another land, we can use Urza's activated ability and just create more reflection nets. Yeah. If we, yeah. If we draw, if we type that into a land, we can just uh, we can just copy our reflection net, and it won't even be a spell. It'll be an artifact entering the battlefield, so we can get the Rot Priest away that way. But we just gotta kind of cross our fingers here. Hopefully, they don't have anything super crazy, but I think we're looking good. I think we're looking good here. The Spyglass Siren is very, very nice because even if they do attempt themselves, that's fine. We can still block you. And you know what? I don't care. I'm still blocking. Ooh, they, that is a terrible mistake. Terrible mistake by them. They cannot swing the, with the Roach there. So five poison counters. We don't get into a land, but oh, they didn't even let us go for the Urza Reflection Net nonsense, but oh well. Jackal, Jackal, Jackal. Hello, Jackal. Five, five, six, four. Let's see how we uh, see what we got going on here, man. Ooh, don't like being on the draw versus mono red or burn. Okay, so it doesn't have to be mono red, but picking against burn can be um, a little bit hazardous to the health. So, oh, Boros, Boros Valiant Veterans. This is going to be Boros Soldiers most likely. I think we are actually pretty well equipped to deal with this. Now that we draw into the Gold Forge Thopterex, well, the Thopterus. I mean, Thopters everywhere, but. Well, let's go ahead and do this, and the Gold Forge Thopterx having lifelink is so important. If it didn't have lifelink, I don't think it'd be really worth running, but it does, so... Valiant Veteran, that is fine. Definitely, definitely, they can get kind of crazy here, but... Hmm, just trying to think here. Maybe I should have just dropped the Thopterx instead of the Emporium Thopterx, and I don't know if Jackal's there. Hello, let's go ahead and give them... Let's not be rude. Let's go ahead and give them a Thinking Jace before we really start pounding your go. All right, oh, there we go, there we go. A little bit of bullying just always works. Hey, just play the game, you know? All right, well, getting a free Ornithopter every single turn is pretty much insane. I think the Emporium Thopter should have been a legendary creature, uh, honestly, but um, I think, you know, it's close. We could go in for the Thopter X, but you know what? We have Urza now. I think we're just gonna go in for the Zoetic Glyph. I think we're just gonna go full-blown aggro mode. Bang, bang, bang. And now this Ornithopter is even gonna get the boost from Urza, Prince of Krug as well, so. They can definitely put a lot of damage on the board, but this Urza, I think with the Ornithopter and the Zoetic Glyph thing, oh, what is this thing? This thing pumps creatures, doesn't it? First strike, pumps you up to a 5-3. Um, I don't really want to chump block. I think I'd rather just keep this Ornithopter in the air. Um, with the Urza, I think, do we have lethal next turn? Hold on, every creature gets plus two, plus two, or artifact creatures rather, but I think we have lethal... Emporium Thopterus, boom. Anchorage. Let's go in for our Captivated Crossroads. All right. Here it goes. Let's go for in for a free Ornithopter and into the Urza, Prince of Krug. And now all of our artifacts get a buff in. Look at that Ornithopter. Let's go ahead and just swing all in with our buffed artifacts. Urza is just going to take this. Yeah, we're. They, they, uh, I mean, well. They have to block, is what I should say. Like, they, it's not lethal, but they can't block the Thopter. They can do that, but that, that's not that's not going to work, my friend, yeah. That's not going to work, my friend. You're going to have to block the 7-6 uh, the here. So this allows us to swing in with the Thopter. It's first a little, a little extra damage, because that is a chump block. That is a genuine chump block, and I think we're looking pretty good here. Another War Leader's Call is not going to cut it. I don't care what you got here. I got 11 life, and that is going to do it. Urza for the win. Hello, hello, well, hello to you too. 
Let's go ahead and keep this. Looks good enough. I guess we'll keep it. Restless Anchorage, man. Restless Anchorage can definitely win you games. It can definitely be a little bit awkward, especially when you're on the draw. But hello. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello to you, too. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. Got to get the coffee in. Got to get the uh, the coffee in before hello. Okay, there we go. All right. Let's, go. let's just commit to the Restless Anchorage. Um, not a whole lot to go here. We're just going to go in for our thought there. So now, oh, man. Do we want to drop the Thopters on turn two just for it to get burned? I mean, I think we're just going to pass. Yeah, our little Thopters. I love this little love this little guy, but I mean, I think just holding up no more lives is a little bit more efficient. Rather than dropping the Thopters, it gets burned. I cry. They go prowess. Yeah, we're not, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Not today. All right. Let's see what we got here. Hello. I mean, are you going to take your... You're mono red. Usually, you're just like boom, boom, boom. Let's go ahead and give him... Oh, okay. I, I don't... I don't really like hitting the no-go no -go if I have. It can help it, but... Um, so I didn't, but there we go. So we are playing No More Lies. I think this is okay. Yeah, this is fine. I think it's still worth it to No More Lies the Lightning Strike, but let's go ahead and take another sip of the gold coffee. Another Thopterist. Looking good, looking good. I think I'm just going to pass. We can go in for the Reflection Net, but uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to show off my little Gengar mug here. If you haven't seen it, it's pretty cute. But yeah, I think we're sitting pretty okay here. We got the Reflection Net. The reflection Net obviously um, can take care of the Swift Spear, so not that bad. I'm, I'm hoping that they go for Monstrous Rage. Melt through. So they probably are just expecting another No More Lies, but not this time. We got an at We're going to catch it in my net. And then, well, let's absolutely waste no time. They're tapped out. They can't have anything more. So let's go ahead and reflect the, uh, the Swift Spear here. So down to 11. It's not great. Ooh, so what a glyph on the reflection that is actually sometimes that is kind of a good move sometimes it's not I'm gonna go in for the case and then just go in for the Thopterus. So I think we're now we can start kind of committing to the board we got 11 life which I mean Not out of the woods here by any stretch of the imagination We do have a little bit of life link here uh, war, 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 war crafting that is gonna be pretty much overkill. So they actually grab a land as well Makes sense, considering that you have to play it this turn. We grab a land as well. Okay, well, I mean... What's the play here? I, hmm, we go... <sighs> Thopters is okay. I mean, four lands with this hand is actually really awkward, so... Maybe we just go in for the... So what a glyph seems alright, yeah. We don't get to solve the case this way, which feels pretty bad, but I mean... I guess we still want to do this. I would assume they don't have any haste creatures here because they would have played it last turn unless they draw into it and do it. Oh god, oh god. All right, maybe this was not the best move. Maybe we should just kept back, but down to eight. All right, we definitely don't want to see a monstrous rage. We do have the reflection net, so I'm not too worried about this, but now we got to make a decision. Do we want to swing in with the Thopterus? I don't know for next turn. Let's do that. Maybe that was a little bit too hasty. Pun kind of intended playing against Mono Red, but maybe, um, yeah, if I wasn't going to attack, which I actually did not, I should have just waited for the Reflection Net because they might have had like a Monstrous Rage. That was maybe a little bit of a mistake there. Man, I'm, we're not Mono Red. We can't play too hasty, pun very intended. So let's see if we can kind of turn this around. Blazing Crescendo. I'm blocking. I'm blocking 100%. We do get to discover back. We do have the case that's solved. So I'm blocking 100%. Down to eight life, and let's discover, fingers crossed, what we got here. A Siren, that's fine. A Siren is absolutely fine. We have the case of the Fitch Falcon. We can kind of animate this little artifact that we got, and we actually get a Zoetic Glyph. Well, Zoetic Glyph is actually going to be better, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and just do that, get this map token going, and we're looking good. So, man, actually, I forgot all about this Reflection Net. Let's go ahead and reflect our Siren into a Squee. It's actually really funny. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. So I'm going to do this. This is a little risky. I understand they have Rally at the Hornburg here. But can they do Ace? <laughs> yeah, I, this is really funny. Usually it doesn't come up a whole lot, but I don't know. The reflection that is pretty nice. So Rally at the Hornburg. We're not out of the woods here. Eight life. A Monstrous Rage and a Shock would do it. Don't want to see a Monstrous Rage. They deal two damage here. They got two cards in their hand. Hopefully like one of them is just like a land. 
Well, if you're targeting the Squee, that is phenomenal, phenomenal news. Because that means that they don't have enough for lethal. And I don't know why you're swinging in if you didn't have enough for lethal here. Yeah, that's got to be a good game, right? Uh, let's go in for the case. Yep, let's be a little careful. I actually am going to go for the reflection net here. There's no way. There's no way that they have um, well, yeah, one one red source. is not going to be able to do four damage here. So let's swing in, and that is a GG's. The reflection net really pulling its weight this match. I'd like to see it. Shoes, hello. Well, ah, shoes. That kind of reminds me of if you were around. Uh, I'll show my age here a little bit, but I think it was like the first ever like viral um, YouTube video. I think it was a uh, shoes. If you remember it, you you remember it. I think it's. I don't even remember how it went. I just remember it. shoes. Shoes. These shoes suck. These shoes rock. Something like that. But either way, I'm gonna have to go and watch that just for the nostalgic purposes. But let's go ahead and just get down our Thopterus. And while we bathe in nostalgia, let's go ahead and go for the Thopterus. This is the complete opposite of nostalgia. This is fresh and new. This Emporium Thopterus is pretty much like the best card ever. I've said this before. Bunny Corn. Uh, Bunny Corn can get out of hand, but I've said this before. I think the Thopterus should have been on a legendary body. Just because I think I I personally think it's too good. Because getting a free 2-2 flyer every single turn is just insanely cracked. So yeah, let's go ahead and drop our free 2-2 flyer. Again, they are free. Very, very silly. Well, you know what? I mean, I think we're just going to go in for the map token and hold up No More Lies. Because we don't have an artifact creature this turn, Case of the Fitch Falcon, I guess we'll put it away. Well, I guess we'll keep it. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We're going to go in for No More Lies. Um, the Innovative Metatech, our little Metabot row battle here. This is going to be pretty good with the Ornithopter because we need an artifact creature to actually do damage. So, Warlord's Call, it's going to be an easy No More Lies, sure. But tap out, kind of making sure that they don't do anything crazy here. So, the front layer is actually a little bit awkward. If they do Suicide Charge into us, I think that's a little bit, um, I think it's a little bit reckless because... It, I can definitely just block the, re the Regal Corn. If they want to bump it, then they have to actually swing in with the Frontliner. Now we kill the Frontliner. So, I think that was a little... I don't know. I don't know. I think, feel, feel pretty good about this match. So, again, a free Ornithopter every single turn is absolutely absurd. And now that we actually have an Ornithopter, we actually have an Artifact Creature. Now we can go in for our Innovative Metatech, the Row Battle. And we go in for Case of the Fitch Falcon. We got three looking good here. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see if we can seek with the meta tech. And we get another Case of the Fitch Falcon, which of course we just, we still like. We don't hope no more lies this way, but I don't think we really need it. I think we're pretty, pretty good here. All right, Bunny Corn. Let's see how big, let's see how big, uh, big how, how big the Bunny Corn can get. Easter's over, so... Easter is, oh, sweeping, sweeping lookout. I actually did consider this because it is an artifact. I did consider this into my deck, but ultimately I don't think we really need this. So let's see if they uh, can post some sort of threat here. If they do go kind of wide here, I mean, it does present kind of an issue. Um, see, I don't have removal. I've got, I have disruption with the no more lies. I'm mean, going to go for the front liner. So that tells me they're going to try and swing in here. Um... I think we'll just let this go. A 5-5, five, five, I mean, I'm, I'm either chump blocking. I don't really want to chump block. I think we'll just take out the front liner and go down to 11. I think that's fine. So, again, Emporium Thopters. Oh, and another one. Again, this is exactly why the Emporium Thopters should be legendary. Because it's not really fair. Like, it's really not. Let's go in for a Thopters number two. And now these Ornithopters, is, you get a... Like, just think about what this is. You get a free... 4-2 flyer every turn. Like, it's just so absurd. Um, alternatively, we could go for the case of the Fitch Falcon. Because we don't have lethal here, I think we're just going to hold still. Because if we have uh, two 4-4s four in the air, yeah. That would be 10. So down to 5. Let's just do this. Spyglass Siren looking good. And just hope no more lies. Like I said, I think this is pretty much game, but... Um... Yeah, looking pretty good here. Even if they were to block there, I think just going in for the Thopters is probably just better going for no more lies. I've seen weirder things here. They could go for Sunfall, something weird. I don't know. But either way, I think we're going to pretty much lock them out of the game here. Next turn, we drop another Thopters, and these Ornithopters are going to be four twos, and it just feels it feels broken, but didn't need to. Didn't need to. 
Chub Toad. Chub Toad. What a name. All right. How are you doing, Chubby Toad? Exuberant Fusing. This card is very, very interesting. I do like this card a lot. I think it's a little bit under uh, underrated. Underrated and underappreciated with the Fusing here. So it's always a question. Do we want to go for the Anchorage or the, um, the Coast? I mean, we are on the draw versus a deck that can get out of hand pretty quickly. So this is a little risky. So this is going to be, what, Goblin Tribal? And here, oh, Churning Reservoir. So that is going to get uh, additional oil counters. So that's going to be pretty nice. Let me go and read this real quick. Create a 1-1. One, one. I don't think the Phyrexian Goblin is going to come into handy here. Come into play. Come into handy. What the hell I just said there? I'm going to drop the Surge Engine. It's not great. I mean, alternatively, we can hold up the No More Lies. But I think we're going to have to try to put something on the board here. It's not great. It's not great. Goblin, Horde Master. Yeah, oh man, I think we're just gonna have to block here. Even if they do have Monstrous Rage, we can still go through. We still get the kill. Making do with what we got here. Another Emporium um, Thopterist. So I think the only play we really have, realistically, is to go in for the Inspector, and then we gotta choose what we wanna do with the other two mana. Being on the draw versus a fast second, never fun, but what do we do here? The Thopterist is just not gonna cut it. I don't think Thopterist is gonna work. I think maybe going for the Schooner could be pretty good because they have cavern of souls i don't think no more lies is really that good here fortunately we did get rid of the fuseling so now these oil counters do they don't really matter as much anymore yeah see like i said holding up no more lies is just not the play like we they already have us beat on the board so i think dropping the schooner is definitely the superior play yeah i'm gonna do it i'm gonna try anyway you do get to enlist this way yep um yeah, 4-2. Well, we're definitely going to go ahead and crew this up. Let's get the old crew on the fire chip going. Yeah, I think we're just going to drop you instead of the sergeant. Down to 11. And, of course, the horde master does get to dig for... Man, this is good. Oh, and a Mariah Marauder. And they just fix up perfectly for that last two mana. This is looking pretty bad. Oh, man. Going for the Thopterist, and you know what? I'm thinking about just dropping another Thopterist because, again, this no more lies with the Phyrexian, uh, with the Phyrexian, with the Cavern of Souls. I think we're just gonna have to do this and just pray. All right, yeah, the no more lies with the Cavern of Souls, and not looking super sexy here. Um, a monstrous rage on the Marauder would basically be nighty night, but I think we're. we're... We want to keep our Thopters here, because the 4-2 Flyers every single turn would be pretty nice here. But let's do this. I think we're going to have to trade with the Marauder. They have Monstrous Rage, and we just lose, I, I think. And I think we're going to try and block. It sucks getting rid of a Thopterist, but... No Monstrous Rage? Okay, the Monstrous Rage would have been the game over, for sure. I mean, if it wasn't for the Horde... Yeah, man, it sucks. If it wasn't for the Horde Master giving them more fuel every single turn, I think we might be able to have them. Goblin Influx Ray. Oh, this is probably over. The Goblin Influx Ray gives them something every single turn, like our Thopterist. Like our Thopterist, but they're, this is a little bit better. Again, no more lies, man. Just not really doing the trick here, especially with that Cavern of Souls. So I think we don't have, have much of a choice here. Let's go in for our Zoetic Glyph. This Goblin Influx Ray, they, yeah, they get a free Goblin every single turn. There's a lot of Goblins here, man. Oh, God. All right, well, let's just try and do it. I could swing. I don't even think so. Like, we're so far behind. I think swinging in with this is probably not good, but I'm going to try. We got to try something here. We're not going to win with the Goblin Influx Ray just giving them a huge Goblin every single turn, so... Got the no more lies in case they... Oh, man. I, I don't see how we're going to get out of here, honestly. These goblins... Oh, these goblins are getting crazy. The goblins are getting crazy. Oh, God. Look at all these freaking goblins, man. It's Crime Novelist, and they get another one. Well, we do get an Ornithopter. Case of the Fish Falcon, but I mean... Well, this is our only move. Case of the Fish Falcon. And then we're going to go in for the map token. And then hold up no more lies, but this is looking pretty atrocious. Goldforge stop decks would be kind of nice if we have lifelink, but um, unfortunately we don't have a way to give it like the Zoetic Glyph. Um, we'll finish this out, but it's looking abhorrently egregious. So we do solve the case. 
Turning Reservoir. Oh god, the scamp. I think the scamp alone. Another Horde Master. We can't no more lies it. You really, they have enough mana. And another oh, a Trash Master. Well, we can go ahead and... Excuse me. We can get rid of the, the Trash Master with the no more lies. But look at this Goblin board, man. They are so wide. They're swinging it. Oh god. The Cacophony Scamp can like blow themselves up. Um, We're going to try, I guess. But these are just going to be like chump blocks, essentially. Because all their goblins are buffed up. I think we're just going to try... <sighs> Got 11 live. Is there... I, yeah, I think the game is just over. But, nah, GG's. Goblins take it. For your lungs only. How are we doing here? <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe I need some more lungs. Speaking of lungs. But, um... Got some coughing action here. We got some coughing, which is a Pokemon. And speaking of Pokemon, we got some coffee mug. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I don't know where I was going with that. I don't know where I was going with that. All right, so we are playing. Okay, that was a little bit of time. I probably have to cut that out here. But let's go give our opponent the friendly mulligan hello. Because they did take a mulligan there. So let's see what we got here. Let's see what we're playing against. Um, okay, looking pretty good. Pretty stereotypical start. Let's go ahead and go for a uh, subterranean schooner. Get a little bit of damage in and we'll be all right. All right, for your lungs only, what you play in here is this going to be Bendelish Knight Counselor. Nice little card. Um, well, not too much to read into here. I think we're just going to go ahead and drop you. Let's go in for our Metatech so that when we swing in with the Schooner, we will obviously be able to block. And I think I'm going to swing in here with the Inspector. I think we're going to push damage here. We could keep you back to block this little Bendelish Counselor, but I think we're looking good here. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what we explore off the top because we are going to seek with our meta tech here. We get a no more lies and things are looking pretty good. Pretty good little curve out here. <clears throat> pretty little curve out here. Uh, Amara. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit more convokey. Let's see if we can kind of beat them to the punch to go wide. Um, Zoetic Glyph and we got rid of a Zoetic Glyph, but let's go ahead and just do this. We oh, okie dokie. Raziel! Raziel! Hello, hello! Let's see what we got going on here. Phoenix Chick on turn one. Oh no. Restless Anchorage. Restless Anchorage is pretty awkward, but let's go ahead and drop our Inspector here. Do you want to commit to the Restless Anchorage? I don't think so. Being on the draw versus Mono Red, I think we're just going to like flip a coin and just hopefully that we can get in some more untapped lands. Alright, Phoenix Chick, what you got for me? <laughs> Excuse me, melt through. Alright. Monstrous Rage? No Monstrous Rage. Okay, that's actually pretty nice. And another Restless Anchorage. Oh my goodness. Well, I think we're we're still going to commit to this. I, we got to put something on the board here. So maybe we go in for the Subterranean Schooner. I guess they can't. The Surge Engine's a little bit suspect just because it has two toughness and they can just burn it right away. So don't really want to do that. So Ember Coiler comes out to play. Um... You know what? I mean, we, get, we got our wish. We got some more untapped lands, so I think we're just going to commit to you. And we actually do not have to pay any land because the Surge Engine is colorless. So let's do this. Boom, boom. Looking good. And you know what? Do we want to swing in and be a little bit aggressive? I think so. Now with our two Case of the Fitch Falcons, I think we're going to try and do this. I know we kind of leave ourselves wide open here. The Ember Coiler does have prowess itself, but... I think just waiting to do no damage is a little bad. Um, lightning Strike on the Surge Engine, 4-4. Four, four. This is a lot of damage. Maybe we should have played a little bit more defensively. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. So these Restless Anchorages are kind of nasty. I think we're still just going to say no to the Restless Anchorage. We're going to go in for Case of the Fitch Falcon. Now I've got a Reflection Net, but kind of make a decision here. We're definitely going to go in for Case of the Fitch Falcon. But I, what do I want to do here as far as swinging in? Well, that was actually the... Well, I guess we kind of... Uh, I was going to not swing anyway, but we, did, we actually had no choice because that one had just so many sickness. This Ember Coil is pretty nice. I do like this card a lot. And they get, ooh, they get rid of their Lightning Strike. That's pretty nice. That means that they are very, very worried about my creature here. Hopefully, they go in for Fiery Inscription on the Ember Coiler and make a little bit of a mistake. I uh, go for the Schooner. Or are they going to go for the Phoenix Chick? I want them to put it on the Ember Coiler, thinking they'll swing in with uh, free damage. And then I crew the Schooner. Maybe they're forgetting about that. Come on. I see them hovering over it. Come on. Oh, it looks like they're going to go with the Chick. All right, so they go with the Chick. No problem. Another Phoenix Chick. Well, okay. 
Uh, I was gonna say, yeah, they're definitely not gonna swing with that. So let's just go ahead and block off. I'm not gonna block the Phoenix Chick because the Phoenix Chick can just come back. So Phoenix Chick's gonna block you. All right, all right, got a novice inspector. At this point, we can just go and commit to the restless anchorage. The tap is not good, but it is what it is. Man, this is rough. Seven live. I think we'll go in for the inspector. Maybe hold up the reflection net. I think the problem is we're gonna have the reflection net now because this ember coiler. Yeah, we're gonna take one life. Ah, it sucks so badly. But this ember coiler is a, is like uh, the worst case scenario. I think we're gonna have to hope they just top deck into like land. I don't see what else we can do here. Deal seven damage. Untapped land for ourselves is pretty nice, but like I said, if they draw into something, we we literally have to just hope they draw into no or no nothing, just land. So see now, oh, this is actually good. That has to be land, or else they just would have burned us to death. So we know for a fact that that's land. So the Ember Coiler would have been able would have been able to just discard that land. And get something else. So that was really, really good. That reflection net, because there's no way if they would have. They would, yeah, it's a higher power. They would have got something else with the Ember Coiler. Man, I'm just like, I know I've I probably explained that ten times, but like my heart's beating fast, man. Definitely would like to see a, a win here. That'd be nice. But case of the Fish Falcon, it's going for you. This kind of sucks though, because that one one on the ground, we don't have lethal. I think we're just in the same boat, right? Like, we're just gonna have to hope they draw into another land. I mean, we're gonna have to get a little bit lucky here. I know I'm roping, it's not great. Yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to think if there's any way out of it. It does not seem to be. We're just gonna do this. They're gonna chump block with the 1-1, one, one. that's fine. So I don't think it really matters. It does not matter. We're gonna have to hope that they just draw into more land. So we know they have a land in their hand. We, we know that for sure. I guess we'll drop the Thoughters, and like I said, this whole match just comes down to, do they draw into another land? We're going to find out very, very soon. It's either land, so there's one. No, we take it more land! Land is going to do it. Let's go!